Today we're going to oil tanking in Shanahan, Illinois. It's the Joliet Terminal. We're the oil tanking Joliet facility. We're located just a couple miles south of the village of Shanahan. We're a bulk chemical facility. Uh, we handle barge, rail, just liquid chemical. We ship out by tank truck. It's our number one goal every day is to you know, protect our people, protect the environment. Yeah, our biggest issue is you know uh, safe access to the top of the you know trailers. This is a, probably a typical ladder you have on a truck. You know the rungs are real thin for climbing it in the cold weather. You know, and when it's icy out, you know your feet can slip off of it pretty easily. So, you know, we just we just don't let our guys go up these ladders. You know, the safe rack is a self-supporting unit, which is the main reason I wanted to go with that. We don't have to let the unit down on the trailer. It's a portable unit, we can take it anywhere along this rail siding and when we have to unload uh, tank trucks, you know, it's, it's right there, it's handy. The Maui unit is a, a portable access system to get on top of either rail cars or trucks. This unit is designed with the full rail cage to get on top of trucks and enclose the, the hatch area. We put it in place, we chalk the wheels on the truck, and then we would uh, set the supports here so that the uh, trailer doesn't move. Then after that, we would adjust the uh, height of the ladder, lower the ladder in uh, place, adjust it to a place where it snaps into place. Then I can climb up to the top of the trailer. So our system is uh, self-supporting, meaning it does not have to rest on the rail car or the truck. And it's important because the top of the trucks are not always flat. Sometimes they have grating and it's flat, Sometimes it's, it's not flat, so uh, by being self-supporting, we don't have to worry about it tipping over or being unstable for the operator. I've seen some trailers where I wouldn't stand up when I was up there. I'd stay on my knees and reach over in there and open the dome lid and things like that instead of actually uh, standing up to do my work. It makes it easier if you can stand up instead of working off of your knees. So, more comfortable and safer. The other rack we had, I'm not sure of the manufacturer, but it was, uh, it had to be supported on the trailer before you went up. Otherwise, it wasn't rated to, you know, be freestanding. So you had to lower it down to the trailer before the operator climbed up. You can see the foam pad there for it to set on a truck without dam damaging the truck. So that's what is your main support once you get it up, you know, it's just like, that's one of the points of contact for support. And uh, I think what eventually happened, it just, you know, right here was like the weight stress and it just kind of finally cracked on it. I'm not climbing up it. Yeah, the other thing about the older unit we had is that the tires were pneumatic and uh, it was always a possibility that, you know, the, you'd have a flat the tires on a safe rack or a solid rubber tire so you don't have to worry about, you know, getting a flat on a unit. I'm hoping this is the last last a lifetime. I mean, it's a portable rack, it's self-supporting. A guy can climb up it without worrying about it tipping over. And uh, he's got a big platform up top to do all the work he needs to do around the hatch. 